What's up, social media family? I hope you got some fight in you because we are about to pick a fight. What we're going to fight for? We're going to fight for you. We're going to fight for your purpose. We're going to fight for your destiny. God has given every person an amazing, life-altering talent, ability, gift, prophetic word, dreams, aspirations. You got all this stuff. But the problem is most people don't have any fight in them. The word says in Matthew 11 and 12, since the days of John the Baptist up until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Now, let me tell you something. The enemy's violent, okay? But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. We like to sing songs and talk about our God has never lost a battle. Well, he's not going to start now. If you're losing, it is by your choice. You ever seen a, a, a bully that bullies people because he's a little bit bigger than him, like when you were in grade school, but when somebody slaps the bully, it all changes? You need to pick a fight with the devil today. You need to pick a fight with the enemy. Don't be scared. Man, you got to understand, the Bible says that he is a defeated foe. I like what Tim Sheets calls him. He calls him the forever loser. Friends, we got the whole kingdom of God on our side. You know, when the enemy got kicked out of heaven, it says that only a third, that's only 33% of the angels got, got removed. There's more that are with us than's with him. Why are we scared? Why are we letting fear override our faith? The problem with a lot of people is they don't have any fight. They don't have any stamina. You know, the Bible says that you will go through the shadow of the valley of death. It didn't say through the valley of death. It says it's like a shadow. See, a lot of times that people think that they're going through death, but it's just the, the shadow of death. And a lot of times that is fear coming in. I'll never forget the time my wife and I were, were walking around the, the neighborhood that we used to live in. And we heard these dogs barking and they, you could tell their bark was getting closer and closer and closer. It didn't phase us. You know why? Because there was a big, huge wooden fence right there. Now the bark was like the shadow of death. Okay. We're walk, walking down the street. You're walking through a valley and you see the shadow of something. That fear tries to come in. Listen, no, the violent take it by force. Are you ready to go for your calling? Are you ready to go for the dreams that God has for you? A lot of times people, they go to bed at night and when their head hits that pillow, they think about all the things that they could have done. They th thought about the, all the things they should have said. They think about all the chances that they should have taken. Well, you know what? It says from the days of John the Baptist up until now. What is now? Right now. I hope something stirred up in your spirit. I hope you are remembering every prophetic word that Holy Spirit has ever spoken to you. Now is the time that you have to stand up and fight for your God-given calling to walk in your God-given destiny, okay? Are you ready to use the Spirit of God with force in your life? Are you ready to go against every insecurity that you have? Are you ready to tackle every fear that you have? Are you ready to go against everything that, that has ever scared you, every roadblock, every pothole that you've been stuck in, every mountain that has stood in your way? The Bible says in Psalms 97, 5, that mountains will melt like wax in the presence of the Lord. Now it's time that you get in the presence of the Lord and watch those mountains that have held you back. They will start to melt right before you. My dear friends, I'm here to tell you today, it is time that we get forceful with the word of God. What is the word of God called? It is called a sword. It is time that you fight with the word of God. It is time that you fight with the prophetic things over your life. You fight with the words that God has given you. My friends, this is your now season. And one of the saddest things I've ever experienced in my life, and when I go, used to visit a lot of different nursing homes and I would talk to these different people and they would talk about what they should have done and I remember one time I was talking to this guy. He said, oh, when I was younger, there was this young girl that I was in love with and I was always scared to ask her out. And then one of my friends asked her out and they got married. I never forgave myself. Then I remember I wanted to, to start a business, but I didn't. I worked for another man all the And all of his life was nothing but regret after regret after regret. 
I'm telling you, you don't want to live a life like that. You want to live a life full of the things of God because we can actually live a life that is full of adventure. Go for every single thing that God has ever put in your heart. And listen, my friends, sometimes when you're scared, it's okay. Do it scared. Whenever you have fear, conquer fear. No fear. Go after the things that God has for you. You can be and you can do everything God has called you to be and you can do everything He's called you to do. Now, I want to pray for you. If you want prayer, go to my website, jojodawson.net. Go to the contact connect button, hit that button and send me a prayer request. Also, I'm going to try to pray for everybody that comments on social media. Just write no fear and I'm going to try to get to your comment and I'm going to try to pray for you. All right, love you guys.